size it at. There we go. So this is Emil Turchak, and I'm talking to James White at Active Spectrum Incorporated. And uh, it's a technology that I used many, many years ago when it was the size of the two of us put together. And I think that this is an interesting little tool to put in our toolkit. Uh, Jim, you want to tell us about it? Sure. Um, so we started out about five years ago uh, looking for ways to apply uh, modern communication technologies to the uh, analytical sciences world. And we ended up designing uh, a miniature electron spin resonance spectrometer. And so by leveraging uh, a lot of the developments in the communications industry, we were able to take what used to be almost a room-sized uh, instrument for measuring free radicals and scale it down to the size of a hockey puck. And I got one here in my hand. That's wild, considering and how big it used to be. This, this is a completely self-contained instrument. It contains the magnet, it contains the high frequency cavity, it contains the signal source and receiver, it has a microprocessor on board, it can do onboard analysis of the signals, and it has a power supply board. And that just interfaces to a computer using a USB connection. So, so basically uh, with low power and it can be used in a process setting and explosion proof and the like? Absolutely. We have these in uh, a benchtop form which is used in the R&D lab. Um, we sell them all over the world. And we also have an online form which is ruggedized for use in the uh, industrial world, particularly in the petrochemicals industry. So. We're, this year we're bringing out a new version which is a high frequency uh, instrument working at 10 gigahertz. Our original instrument was at 3.5 gigahertz and by going to 10 gigahertz we're able to uh, improve the sensitivity of the technique and open up more and more applications. So this, this might be very good for uh, uh, following the kinetics of a reaction for synthesis whenever a free radical is present? Absolutely. Uh, free radical chemistry is essentially the application of ESR. And ESR is the gold standard for uh, direct measurement or direct ob observation of free radicals. And since no ma so many drugs are nitro or uh, amino, then you, are gonna, you can find some uh, nitroso free radicals and the, th and the like sitting about. Absolutely. Um, and, and all types of uh, spin trapping experiments. Uh, and, and really the fields of application are, are, are very, very broad, uh, particularly in, in, in the pharmaceuticals. And since most of them are transient, uh, this is virtually the only way you could follow them in, in, real, in the real world or in any way, really. Right, and, and, and the limitation uh, largely has been uh, just the size and the, the investment required uh, to, to, to procure an ESR instrument. Uh, we've achieved almost an order of magnitude reduction in, in the cost uh, of this technique. And so we think this really opens it up for use on the lab bench. Uh, at, at this point, it's comparable to um, you know just any any bench top instrument that you might you might have on your on your lab and, and the savings from one batch of api saved would would pay for it many times over i'm sure excellent well thank you very much for sharing with us thank you